CBS 2 has been tracking carjackings for years. Now there's a fast growing trend where delivery drivers and ride shared workers are the targets. CBS 2's Sabrina Franza is in Chatham. Sabrina, the latest attack just this morning. And that happened just steps away from where we're standing now, right here behind me. This is 86th and South Cottage Grove, where that Amazon delivery worker fled to safety, shot twice. First responders picked him up in this parking lot after police say three people tried and failed to take his car. Now, he's not the first delivery worker to become a victim by a long shot. And as I was going in the house, I heard five gunshots. Helena Cohen lives next door. She thought her car was next. I was just so shocked and so scared. All I did was start hollering and screaming. Instead, a 32-year-old Amazon delivery worker became the latest target in a growing trend. Delivery workers attacked. It's beyond crisis level. Lenny Sanchez works for the Independent Drivers Guild. He says this... Is he a paper delivery guy? <laughs> ...happens at least once a day, every day in the Chicago area. Oh, was shot three times. Today, the Amazon worker made it to University of Chicago Hospital in serious but stable condition. The failed carjackers couldn't drive off with this car because it was a stick shift. There is an issue with gig work in general, and it's there's a vulnerability that exists, whether it's with rideshare or with the deliveries, is that you have no idea who's requesting these rides, and you're expecting a complete stranger either to approach you to accept the delivery or to get into the back of your vehicle. Chicago police say in the first three weeks of February, three pizza delivery workers were robbed at gunpoint. February 2nd, 15th, and 19th. That's just one type of gig worker in three weeks' time. It is devastating. When someone is working for gig work, they need it. They need an income. It, they're doing this out of necessity. It's rarely out of pleasure or boredom that people are doing gig work, especially at five in the morning, like the gentleman today. The Drivers Guild did explain that normally it's difficult for these workers to find any justice in these cases, that they would typically have to hire their own attorney to find out any information about the delivery or the ride in question outside the help they receive from the company that they work for. Erica. Sabrina, has Amazon said anything about this? They have actually responded to us saying that they are working with law enforcement and they said that they are also helping the worker in question, but they would not tell us exactly what kind of work they were giving them. Erica. Right. Sabrina, thank you.